All your noise probably woke up more crabbies and other mire lurks. The town could be crawling with them by now. Oh yeah, all my noise. So dirty. Says the one who was screaming. Who owns this place should be ashamed. All right, guys. So first things first. We do still need to get all these turrets back online. But I was thinking after we're done with all this, it might be kind of cool if we head on over to the Glowing Sea and maybe check that out. Because supposedly that's where Virgil's located. If you don't remember who he was. He was the Institute Scientist. Or ex-Institute Scientist, I should say. But apparently there's a damn good chance that he might know where Sean is, or at least where we can find the Institute. Okay, so there's one down. Looks like four more to go, though. Yeah, seems like there's quite a few over on the church. Unless maybe one terminal is going to power all those on. Okay. Now we're down to three more. Although aside from the turrets... Is there anything else around here that we should be looking for? Because it does seem like a pretty decent sized town. And other than that old folks home and then that house there, I don't really think we've done much exploring around here, have we? At least not that I remember. Although now that I'm walking around, I'm really not seeing that there's much else. So maybe for now we'll just stick to all the turrets. Oh, oh that works. Still hardly put a dent in the legendary one though. Although his leg is crippled, isn't it? That should make things a bit easier. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so like I said, there should be quite a few up there, and then... Looks like this one should be... The one and only turret on this side. Oh man. Yeah, this guy's got little supply posts all over the place, doesn't he? I guess that explains how he's managed to stay alive this whole time. Especially in a place like this. But yeah, it looks like about two more, and then we should be good to go. So I guess we'll get this one here, and then head on over to the church. Oh, yeah, that makes things quite a bit easier, doesn't it? Because now that we're getting some turrets back online, they're actually helping us out. But yeah, there's four down. Only one more to go. 
Although I got a pretty damn good feeling that this probably isn't the end of it. I mean, there's been quite a few Marlurks thus far. I'm wondering if there's a chance we might see, who knows, maybe a Marlurk King or, hell, even the Queen. Personally, I'd rather not, but you never know. Oh, nice. A mini nuke and some 308 rounds. All right, that should do it. So is Barney back in the basement? Yeah, for some reason, I thought I heard him walking around out here. Maybe I'm just hearing things, though. Either that or the Mirelurks learn to talk. But I think even that might be a bit far-fetched. Hey, Barney. You did it, didn't you? Ha! I could hear that sweet, sweet machine gun music all the way down here. I say no pie. You almost caught me and Reba mid-walls. Really? Well, that's a relief. I'm glad that's over with. You and me and Reba makes three, my friend. Hopefully those turrets will keep them off my ass for a while. Now, about that reward. Here's a key to my workshop in the bunker. Reba too should be sitting on the table in there. I'd say you earned her. Now, if you'll excuse me, I believe today is earmarked for some target practice. The Salem Volunteer Militia never rests. Reba too, huh? Yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on that thing. Nice. Oh man, here it is. Yeah, look at that, unupgraded I'm pretty sure. And still 113 damage. Oh no, I guess it does have a powerful receiver. Yeah, it does have quite a bit, but I'm pretty sure we can still do at least a couple more upgrades to it. Kinda sad, but this may end up being the replacement to our old hunting rifle. But as I mentioned earlier, I am pretty eager to head on over to the, uh, the Glowin' Sea. But I remember Dr. Amari saying how radioactive the place was. So I'm gonna go ahead and swing back by Sanctuary, maybe pick up a hazmat suit and who knows, some other weapons, and then I guess I'll meet you guys as close to the Glowing Sea as we can get. Okay, looks like we're getting pretty damn close to the Glowing Sea. In fact, I think that might be the icon for it, just up ahead. But it sounds like someone else might be around here. Oh, Rust Devils, maybe? Or were these just robots all by themselves? Cause I don't see any raiders around here. Although that being said, who are they shooting? Oh, settlers. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I guarantee if we were here just a second sooner, they might still be alive. But yeah, just in case we run in to a lot of radiation, I brought our hazmat suit along and also some extra Rad X and Rad Away. But yeah, judging by the extra radiation we're picking up right now, and not to mention the burnt down forest, I think we may be in the glowing sea. 
So now may be a great time for the hazmat suit. But yeah, check this out. This is really something else, isn't it? It's definitely got a very hostile look to it. I think that might be the best way to put it. And I guarantee the landscape isn't the only thing that's hostile out here. Seems like it's just going to be a constant radiation storm. And I mean, you get those every once in a while. Out in just the normal commonwealth. But yeah, this really does seem like it's going to be non-stop. But it looks like Virgil should be somewhere over there. Although it looks to me like he might not be the only thing out here. Looks like a bunker of some sort in this direction. Might be worth a look. Oh, is Kate getting herself into trouble again? Looks like it. Although we may have a problem of our own now. You know, aside from being a pain in the ass, I gotta admit, this is pretty cool. Because throughout the rest of the wasteland, it seems like most of the enemies kind of keep to themselves and are usually in different areas altogether. But out here, it seems like they're all just kind of mashed in to the same zone. Definitely doesn't help our cause out, but I will admit, it does make for an awesome challenge. Oh yeah, there's a flag over there. I wonder if that's maybe a Brotherhood of Steel bunker. Or maybe just an old army one. Yeah, because that's an American flag, isn't it? Oh, it's a federal supply catch. Okay, seems like all the doors in here are locked. So we'll have to give this thing a shot. Oh, that one's got three already. Ah, oh, man. So close. Although we do have a fifth one, don't we? Still no luck, though. Got it. Oh, there we go. See, that wasn't so bad. This better be worth our time. Yeah, I mean, aside from the ammo, it really wasn't. You were looking for heaps of garbage. Yeah, so far I'm noticing the it's super mutants me. are kind of the uh, dominant species throughout the rest of the world, but it seems like out here in the glowing okay, sea, the rad scorpions seem to be in charge. Although we've only just got here, so for all we know, maybe the super mutants do have a presence out here. gonna drag that junk around yeah at this point I kind of have to
Now, aside from the hazmat suit, I'm pretty sure the power armor also blocks the radiation out quite a bit. So if we ever get to a point where maybe the glowing sea is just a bit too much for us to handle, we might have to wear some of that instead. Because the hazmat suit really does not seem like it provides that much protection. Although, I will admit, I do like the uh, movability in this thing a bit more than we'd have in the power armor. But are we going to be able to get to this thing up ahead? Or is this hill going to block us? Oh, uh, no, I guess we should be fine. At least for now. Yeah, so far so good. Let's get through here quickly. I'm not loving all this open space. Oh, they had an evacuation plan? Yeah, it doesn't seem like that worked out too well, does it? Seems like the best plan would have been to go away from where the bomb was gonna hit. But no, they went right to it. <clears throat> this is government employee number zero one one. Sirens, they, they came so fast. And the alarm. The only ones we could save were on duty. Stevens had left to get something out of his car. Stevens, he's gone. We had to close the door before he could even turn around. Protocol said we had to. Interesting. Hear him screaming. That was days ago. We're already running out of food. This place was not as well stocked as they claimed. Goddamn budget cuts. If anyone is listening to this, my name is Jeff Mazensky. Tell my wife, Wilma, that I love her. Goodbye. Well, to that, I'll say. Pretty much what Kate said. There's a lot more to this place than I thought there'd be. Because at first I assumed that maybe it was just that shack upstairs. But I mean, they pretty much have a whole vault down here. So maybe their evacuation plan wasn't as bad as I thought. Hostile sensor reading detected. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Now you're starting to piss me off. Okay, was that all of them? Let's hope so. I wonder if there's a button that can get us the hell out of here. Oh wow. Yeah, no button, but there is hey. this thing. Yeah. If you maybe want to get inside there. I'm on it, Captain. Alright, hopefully that suits you well. Yeah, you know, we may actually have to get inside there before she does. To be honest, it didn't really seem like she had a way to get in there. Okay, so hopefully now she can squeeze on in. Hey. Need something? Oh, look at that. Yeah, we didn't even have to command her that time. Uh -huh. 
So what else is in this place? Or was this everything? Oh, I guess we never did take this elevator, did we? It might not even work, though. At least not yet. Which is weird, because there's some sort of a marker that actually wants us to go in there. Oh. Maybe this will get us through. Yes. Okay, so hopefully... This will get the power back on. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that was the only way we were going to be able to get through that elevator. Oh, man. Well, it kind of backfired on us. Although I'm pretty sure we can handle this. 